Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where process leads to purpose. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. You go ahead and rejoice and let us just all be glad in it. I want to welcome you back to our channel this afternoon. Today with me is Miss Karen Gates. Miss Karen Gates is in the house everyone. Let me tell you, this is a powerful woman of God and I'm so delighted that you took the time to share with us today. Yes. The people need to hear from you, Miss Karen, and hear your story and just how, how God has moved in your life yes. and how you are walking in your purpose. Yes, yes. Isn't God good? He's so good. He's we amazing. welcome you here today. How yes. are you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Awesome. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. Miss Karen, I met Miss Karen through work. She is my co-worker. Um, I remember when I first met her and... Um, I didn't know what to say, you know, how you go into somewhere and then you just say hello, nice to meet you and stuff like that. And then she opened up her mouth and started talking and I, I knew right then that this was a powerful woman of God. I'm delighted that she graced our, our, my house and with her presence and so I'm really excited to get started. Uh, Miss Karen is a mother, yes. a grandmother, oh, yes. a sister. Yes. Um, a friend, yes. um, a confidant, yes. and she is a, an evangelist. Yes. And yes. she yes. is most of all a child of God. Yes. And that is most important. Amen. Amen. Yes. That is most important. That is what you want to be associated with. Yes. So the anointing of the Lord could flow over you and upon you to just demonstrate God's yes. grace over your life, Miss Karen. Um, so as an evangelist, um, you know, as an African American in America, and, um, and and your faith and where you you come from mm -hmm. and your upbringing, how was it that you managed to just uh, fulfill your purpose? Um, like you said, it was a process. Everything is a process. Um, I was actually like you know one of those people in the Bible that God had to pluck you out of a place and put you in an unknown place so that you can begin to know who you are in a place where nobody knows who you are yeah. so that's how the process was for me he took me out of Chicago and plopped me there in California and from then it was like I always knew that I wanted more when I left Chicago and so my plan when I did get here was I need to get my life right you know the party and the drinking like all of this is all over. I'm getting too old for this and I want more for my children and so with that being said God just began to move and I ended up here and like I said it was process after process after process but God knows exactly what you need and who you need in your life to get it accomplished yes. and he's put some great and some mighty people in my pathway awesome awesome how was church for you when you got here were you involved in church back in Chicago? And no, actually, I wasn't. I, you know, I went to church when I was little. You know, my mom didn't go, but she did send us to church. Mm -hmm. And as a child, like, I can remember the shut-ins. I remember, you know, the little songs and singing in the choir with the choir robes wow. and all of that. Yes. Um, but, you know, as we began to get older and we began to do our own thing and know what we want to right. do, we completely mm -hmm. stray away from that. But it says to train up a child in the way that they That's should right. go and the word would never depart from them. And so having that, even in my background, even when I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do, right. I knew it was that, inside of yes, you. that it was, it was inside, inside of, of me. Um, so when I came here, it was like, that was one of my goals. Like I said, to part of getting my life together is I need to go to church. Yes. Yes. You know, and so um, upon getting here, I wasn't married when I got here. Um, about a year after I got here, we got married and things just started to progress very rapidly. Right. Um, I met my spiritual parents, you know, and like I said, and from there you meet other people and other men and women in God um, that began to just teach you and right. train you in the ways and the things that you need to know. Awesome, 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 awesome. So um, with that said, I know a lot of, and you, you talked about like growing up um, in church, mm -hmm. but then once we, we realize, once we get to a point in our lives, when we're older now, mm -hmm. and it's not as mandatory as when you were younger, your mother said, you have to go to exactly. Sunday school. Yes, you know, you have to go both. to Sunday school, exactly. and then you have to go to church, but once you come of age where you say, you know what, I'm old now, I'm 18, mm -hmm. I can do what I want now, I can make my own decisions, but um, you recognize that whatever that was instilled in you carried you. Yes. 
Oh, yes. Through the process. Yes. Yes. Through the process called life, when we get to a certain point, um, we realize what we, we learn. But I, 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 as an evangelist, as a missionary, when I go out and I speak with people and they'll say, you know what, I don't go to church, but I love the Lord and I stay home. Mm -hmm. How is it important to be in the presence of, of ministers and leaders and people who, who belong to a church? How is it important? Uh -huh. important uh, the Bible that? says, forsake not the assembly of yourselves right. because there, there's something that happens in the atmosphere when the body of believers come together. Right. It happened in the upper room in the book of Acts. Hey, it hey. happened every time the people gather together, miraculous signs and things begin to happen. So in that type of atmosphere, why is it important? It is important because there are things that are down in the inside of you that may not ever serve Purpose unless you're in the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. The Bible yeah. says the anointing breaks yokes. So you have to be in the atmosphere with the anointing. You have to be in the atmosphere with other people, other believers to know. And even when you're going through to know, you know what? I always want you. Wow. And so in that atmosphere, you begin to learn that there is this process that right. God is doing and you're not alone and you are exactly where you need to be That's at, right. but you may need that strength yes. to get you through. And everybody thinks that we can do it within ourselves. And then some people, you probably can, but it says forsake not. There is a reason that we mm. have to be there so that we can build each other right. up right. and push each other past our emotions and our feelings and whatever it is that we're going through so you it's it's really important as a believer to assemble yourself with other believers right right and and you know what there's a stigma that's attached like um people in church or christians don't go through the things that people in the world go through mm -hmm. and sometimes we we see where um people don't understand that whatever you're going through out there people are going through it in the church as yes, well yes. so when you gather together and you hear that it makes you feel like you're not alone yes you're yes, not alone exactly you know exactly. they're going it's not a better rose when you listen uh -huh. church is christianity is not a better rose it is not comfortable we go through the same processes the same situations that everybody goes through we have trials and testings and tribulations and mm -hmm. and and just just stuff that we go through and it's so good to know that there not that it is happening to you right but it, it just says that we're not alone exactly we're not alone exactly. and if you go through it sister karen uh -huh. i can go, go through it too and i can come yes. out victorious yes. victorious yes. amen amen so young people it is important for us to be in the presence of the lord yes. and be in the presence of people who are of the same faith yes. and of the same belief because uh, we can impart things to you as well as you can teach us things as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we all need each other. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. God bless you.